one of the key aspects of life that I think all of us should care about or should care more about is our own physical well-being and fitness. Because if we aren't well physically, it is hard to you know, be productive in our, in our work. So today, I'm going to interview a client of mine, Dan Wynn. He is a fitness and mindset coach. And he's going to tell us about the mind-muscle connection and how do we motivate ourselves in a positive way to achieve whatever wellness goals that, that we have, whether it's some, a particular fitness or a particular diet. So let me, uh, let me share with you Dan's uh, background and then I'll bring him on. So Dan Wynn is a fitness and mindset coach. He teaches people mindful techniques to exchange unhealthy habits for healthy ones, allowing people to achieve long-lasting fitness and wellness results. Dan has stayed in the top levels of fitness for 20 years using this approach. So Dan, uh, and Dan's website, I should mention, is uh, www.fitnessandmindset.com. Dan, welcome to this interview. Thanks, uh, thanks, George. Also, thanks, Coach, for having yeah. me on. I'm uh, excited to uh, come on and just share some information to hopefully make a difference in, you know, in people's life when it comes yeah. to uh, their health and wellness. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I want to mention you are um, prolific with your content as well. So congratulations. <laughs> and uh, you're on Facebook, of course, and you're also on Instagram, where I, I've seen photos of, 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 <laughs> of the results of your work. And it's amazing, you know, you're staying, staying in the top levels of fitness. So folks do check out Dan on Instagram as well. So let's talk, let's talk about how, how you're able to get this done. I mean, also, um, part of, I, I want to say uh, the reason why I mentioned that you're prolific and how does that relate to fitness is because, well, it's the fact that you're doing this 5 a.m. video blog every day now for 75 days. Is that right? It's, yeah, it's been 75 days Incredible. today, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's also a testament to your physical fitness and your, and your mindset <laughs> is exactly what you coach people on. So, um, where do you, I want to ask you this question, like what, what do you, where, where do people usually kind of fall down when it comes to trying to keep themselves physically fit? Yeah, the biggest thing is uh, it always comes down to mindset. And that's the reason why, you know, I call a company fitness and mindset because unfortunately people, when it comes to like getting in shape and, you know, creating that ultimate dream body, right? It's like everyone's focusing on the exercise or the diet. And to me, this is like, yeah, this is a great start. And it's just the, this is just the external stuff. And the really true transformation comes down to the foundation, the mindset. How do we motivate ourselves? Because when it comes to health and wellness, either you know how to motivate yourself or you procrastinate. And getting back to your, uh, your question, George, is like, that's the biggest thing is, is not to me, I say this very humbly, it's not about the diet and exercise out there, but sometime with just um, media and just different marketing companies, like, you know, rah, 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 do this certain diet, certain exercise and get abs in six a week. And we live in an age where we can Google, we can YouTube, we can do, we can search for information that quickly, right? But majority of the time, people are still not creating the result they want. So it's not more information. It's like, what do you do with the information in here to um, stay consistent? And yeah, I want to also give kudos to you because also you start off like saying, hey, this is my 75th video, 5 a.m. video blog. And I want to tie this into the mindset, right? Because for me, it was like, Back in the days, I was kind of like hiding, right? When it comes to health and wellness, I was like trying to like walk that line of like, you know, hiding myself. And I just, and that comes down to the, the self-talk and all these things about, you know, judgment and it's like, but I'm in the health and wellness industry. It's like, how do I find that balance where I can share the information and just do it from my heart? And Kudos to you. I, I, I watch a lot of your video. I think that's how I, I mentioned that's how I became your clients. It's just really speaking from the heart. 
so now it's just like now I just five a.m. leader walk. I just I, I don't even think about it because I'm able to shift that mindset where I'm just sharing information, right? And we can tie into like why mindset is important for you know health and wellness if you want to. But yeah, 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 abs- absolutely. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. You know, one of the things you uh, you talk with your clients about is sort of the pain versus pleasure motivation. So what do you mean by that? And let's kind of, let's discuss how that, how we can apply that. Yeah, so there's the pain and pleasure motivation. When I talk about that's like the carrot versus the stick, right? Are you moving toward your goal because of pain? So what I mean by that is, here's an example. Usually when people find me is, couple of things they want to get off of like prescription medication right they want to move away from a certain pain you know they maybe just they wake up and they look themselves in the mirror and they don't like the way they look so that's painful for them so in order for them to move away from that pain they have to do a certain diet and exercise we see this all the time after new year after you know january comes around people put on weight during the holidays they wake up and january they look at themselves in the mirror hey belt doesn't fit anymore my clothes don't fit and it's just they want to move away from that how they look that pain right so that creates that motivation and that what happens people join the gym and begin to do these exercises and get on a, a fitness program well, what I share is pain motivation is great. It gets, it gets the momentum going. It gets the fire in your butt to get moving. But what happens as, like, you know, as people begin to start their journey, they lose their weight, right? They lose their weight. They, their belt begins to look, you know, they fit them, and then they, they look comfortable in the mirror. Guess what? Then that, when that pain motivation is not there anymore, the motivation is gone like that. So this is what we talk about, the yo-yo diet, right? It's like lose the weight and then no more, pain, no more motivation and it comes back. So can I, and I want to share also what I do is in the beginning when I share with my clients, it's like, okay, pain motivation is what got you into seeing me. It's like you're seeking out information, getting help. Right. But as, as we work together, as the clients are beginning to lose the weight, I began to have them shift their mindset instead of moving away from the pain. Okay, let's begin to focus on pleasure. What does that look like to have the healthy lifestyle? What does that feel like to wake up every morning and have the energy to do what you want to do? You know, um, because you help a lot of entrepreneurs. What does that feel like to be an entrepreneur and have a lot of energy to go out there and, and change and help people? So by just shifting that mindset of like going from pain to pleasure, that create like lasting result to me so that's yeah just by doing that that simple shift that mindset shift then it's just then there's no no more that yo-yo diet you're able to create you know result to be able to sustain that that's a really really good point i've i've experienced that myself you know you call it yo-yo diet or the the yo-yo weight it's like oh you know um, I weigh too much. I got to do something about it. And I try to try to exercise or, or diet to get back down and then, ah, oh, it's good weight now. And then, like, you know, go, go and visit family or whatever. And then <laughs> weight goes up. So, so let's, can, let's, let's spend a, a bit, a bit more time on this pleasure motivation. How do we actually sustain that? What, what does it mean? What does it really mean to, to have pleasure and motivation? So the pleasure motivation for what I want to share for me is right now, the reason why, like you, you read my body, the reason why I'm able to sustain you know, my health and wellness and stay in shape for like 20 years is because I'm able to tap into that pleasure motivation. I now, every time um, when I wake up, I just focus on how good I feel after I, I, after I exercise. And now it just becomes like, it just becomes unconscious. I don't think about it. But this is what I share with clients is the focus on that. Everything comes down, George. Everything that we do as human beings comes down to our emotion. Everything that we do. And what I mean by that is, so when the emotion happens, focus on how good it feels 
after you get done working out. So when I, when I work with clients and when we're done uh, doing a group class, you know what I do? I just have them, I just like, hey, guys, close your eyes for a moment and just notice one good sensation, one good feeling in your body. And by doing that, they're able to just lock in that canister, that feeling. So anytime in the future, they're like, they just think about that and that create momentum, that create uh, motivation for them. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really, you know, and actually reminds me of, I, 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 I may have stumbled upon this a little bit for myself mm-hmm. in that I have been uh, trying to, well, I'm trying to get into a habit of doing push-ups, sit-ups and a plank, just that, mm-hmm. that kind of routine every day. And, you know, in the past when I did push-ups, it's like, oh, got to get it over with, you know, like get a certain number of push-ups. But now when I do push-ups, every time I, I, I push up, I go, I think, I think joy. I actually think joy. Like this is, this is joy. You know, this is like, this is, and it's so weird. It's my own mantra, but it really has helped me to, well, enjoy the process more. And, um, and now I'm, uh, I've, I've, I'm two weeks, I'm two weeks consistently every, every day doing, doing my exercise routine now. Nice. So it's, uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a, yeah. I, I, I encourage everybody to, you know, you know, uh, do what Dan is uh, suggesting here is try to find that, that pleasure or joyful motivation. Yeah, and can I share also what you said is, is now like you, when you do the push-up, you think of like, you say it's just the word joy and it shifts your whole mindset. I want to t- uh, tie something that I learned from Neuro Linguistic Program, NLP, is really what we call the language of our mind, how we language things. So I, I, I talk about VAK, which is everything we do, we either make a picture inside our mind. It's a visual. V is a visual, and it happens really quickly. The A is the auditory, the self-talk, and that's what you did. You, you do self-talk, the joy, right? And it, you language it differently. VAK, so the K is the kinesthetic, and I talk about the kinesthetic, how we feel. And by combining, by tapping into the language of our mind, how we motivate ourselves, with VAK, we're able to create the result that we want. We're able to create the momentum. And I, I share this, I, I always say this, is that going back to that VAK, the VAK is inside of us. It's not, it's not the external, right? So as we're filming this, um, the weather is getting warmer now. It's like summertime, right? So what happened is, what, typically what happened during the summer is external stuff, weather is changing, people use external stuff to motivate themselves, right? Because, oh, I want to go to the beach and I want to look great. Well, when you use external stuff, what happened when the weather changed? What happened when during the winter come around? People yeah. use external, they put on the weight. Yeah, exactly. And by just using the, the language of our mind, VAK, realize it's not, it's not the external stuff. It comes down to the visual the auditory and then the kinesthetic that we make and it comes from inside. And because the cool thing is because it comes from the inside, now that we know that we're in charge of, you know, changing that, create the picture, create the self-talk like you, enjoy. By doing that, you're able to create the result, create the shift in the mindset. Yeah. Uh, can you give, give us an example of what, of the, of the V? So what does it mean to have the visual? Uh, yeah, of course. So I want to share a little bit for me before I learn about these tools. I was like the, you know, one of these like procrastinator. I would like set the alarm in the morning, right? And um, the alarm comes on. I was a snooze king. What happened? The alarm comes on. Happened really quickly. I see the V, the visual. I make a picture inside my mind of how comfortable my bed is. And by doing that, snooze and then pretty soon mom comes on again i make a different picture i'll come to my bed and i snooze that's that v i talk about and pretty soon it was too late to go to the gym it was like eight o'clock and i had to and then we run the cycle right and then same thing get to work and then come home at five i'm like okay after work i'm gonna go go to the gym come home and then i see the picture how comfortable my couch is and then pretty soon we run that cycle over and over so to answer your question is now, in the beginning, 
when the alarm comes on, once I discover this, I just see myself at the gym, that visual. I see in my mind of how amazing I feel. I see my body's changing. And George, it happens so quickly. We make this picture that pops in and out so quickly, but these pictures create either momentum or not. And in the beginning, yes, I had, I, I had to like consciously, when, when I pressed the, the uh, alarm, the snooze button, I see that picture of how, how amazing I feel. And then that creates the momentum. And now it just, now it just becomes unconscious. I don't, I don't, you know, it doesn't, I don't need to think it consciously. Now the alarm comes on. I get up at, uh, you ready for this? I get up at 3.40 every morning. Wow. Yeah, and I was, <laughs> I was this news king, George, but now I've been doing it. I didn't realize I've been doing it even more than 75 days. I've been doing this for a while. 3.40, I get up and the alarm comes on. Just turn it off. I sit up, I do a quick meditation and then I, I get to the gym. I get to the gym around 4.15 and then once I'm done, I, I pop on and you inspire me. Just get on and share information. And I get on around 5.30 and I just do a five-day video blog. So. That's amazing. Um, this is very helpful uh, to that example of, of, of that V what, that you shifted a picture and you're right. It is so, it's like you said, it's so quick and we are, most, most people are t completely unconscious of their mental pictures. Mm -hmm. And you're right. If we, if we become conscious of the mental pictures and if we choose the mental pictures, seeing ourselves do the thing we want to be doing and how good we feel doing it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm of course it's going to be much easier to go and do it. And if we tie that, that picture to the action, that's even more powerful. Mm -hmm. So this thing you talk about with your clients, the, the mind muscle connection, is this what we're talking about? Is there anything else you want to share about that? Um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to tie that's yeah. The mind muscle connection is the whole thing. And then also when also here's what I want to share with that is, so there's a commercial gym that I go to and I, I, I kind of like watch people, right? So when people go to the gym, there's no mind muscle connection. What they do is they're just going through the motion. So for example, for me, I remember I, I would get on the elliptical machine. It's a gliding machine doing my cardio. There was a lady to my left. She was reading a book, right? She was going through the motion. Guess where her focus was? She re was reading a book. And I look at her and I just, I just smile and you know, I see her. And then the guy to my right was watching like sport channel, something on a football thing. And he was zoned out. He was going through the motion. That's what I mean by mind muscle connection. When people are going through the motion. So for me, right before I got on, I just closed my eyes and I just see myself with every, with every step that I take, I see the body fat melting. So I get on the machine, I do for 15 minutes only, get off my tank tops all wet, and you know, I wave bye to um, the lady and the guy to my right. And what happened is, here's the reason why people do that. They read a book or they watch TV. Here's the thing is, they're doing it to kill time. But when you're doing that to kill time, you're not, you're not you're just going through the the motion, you're not connected into your body. And these are the same people that I say this very humbly, I say this from my heart. These are the same people that you see at the gym, six, seven days a week, year after year, there's no changes because there's no wow. connection. They're just this is so, the this is powerful, man. And, and in essentially your, the time you're exercising is much shorter. Yeah. And yet you're getting more of the results. You're getting more of the result. It's and just, from yeah, and from their from their perspective, it's like I'm watching TV to kill time. But by watching the TV, you're not connect, you're not focused, you're just going through the motion. And they're, you know, the guy was like probably watching TV for 45 minutes and you know, so but I share this. I'm glad I'm able to come on and just share some information. And I and I share this because people know what they know, they don't know what they don't know. And it's just, yeah. So. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like, and there really is, um, our bodies respond so much to what our minds are doing and what our minds are telling our bodies to do. And so when you're yeah. visualizing this 
you know, fat, you know, melting off while you're exercising, it's kind of like supercharges your exercise and your body says, okay, great. I'll let go of the fat. <laughs> that's me. That's, <laughs> that's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got maybe just a few minutes left. Is there anything else you definitely want to share with, with our, uh, with our people today? No, I think that's it. I think everything comes down. I, yeah, I guess what I want to leave with is just to share some information with people. Realize that when it comes to health and wellness, right, no matter where you are right now on your path of creating that, you know, health, whatever that means for you get to define it, realize that diet and exercise program is only the surface layers to start. And true transformation comes from really what's between your ear. It comes from what, you know, like I said, the, the visual, auditory and kinesthetic that we make, right? And just by being able to realize that you're in charge of your outcome. You're in charge of this picture. You're in charge of the self-talk. You're in charge of the emotion. Means that, you know, you can create your outcome by just using these, these simple tools. So. That's awesome. And so if people want to see more of your, you know, video blogs and get more of your information, they can go to your website, of course, www.fitnessandmindset.com. Yeah. They can find you on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, and of course your website will have everything, all the information. Yeah. Do you currently work with clients uh, virtually? I do. I do. Um, I'm able to um, just hop on just like, you know, see them virtually through a video conference and help them with the mindset and then also cater a program, you know, like diet and exercise based on what they need. But to me, it's like, it's get the, once you have the foundation, it's, it's easy to create the result that you want. So, yeah, I think my program is, uh, yeah, it's something that really incorporate all three aspects of health and wellness. So. Awesome. Dan, thank you so much for the work that you do and for doing this interview. Yeah. Thanks for your help, George. I mean, just like, thanks for all your video. And I think that's how I came in contact with you. Just like, you know, and just now it's just like, it's just, again, you know, a cool thing is when you spent 75 days of 5 a.m. beta block, I'm like, wow, it's been 75 days. Guess what? It becomes a habit now. It's like, no matter what I do it. Yeah. And I just being myself, sharing information and it's, it's, I give kudos to you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Well, keep keep up the good work, man. Keep up the good work. You are you are a living embodiment of the kind of uh, you know uh, wisdom that you share with your clients. So keep keep up the good work. Thanks, George. I appreciate it. <laughs>